as an off-campus senator, how do you plan to represent the whole of the off-campus community, including non-students, families, and the houses community? Okay, well, one thing that I'm personally committed to is setting up the Apartnell Center. So this is a community center for all IV community residents. So this won't just be for people who go to the UC, it'll also be for CC students and the families who live here. This center will be a warm place that will foster a community, a sense of community. So if you know your neighbor, you're more likely to act on behalf of them. And currently there's not enough communication going on between everyone who lives in IV. Everyone has their own little group, but they're not reaching out to other people. Another thing is I feel like there's not enough transparency, there's not enough communication with the, with the families who live here already. So at this part all center, we would also include open forums so that families can come talk about their issues and what they would like to see. Because at the end, it's not just our home, it's also their home. We should all share it together. Again, I'm Haywood Hunter, and I'm running for off-campus center with OPP. Hi everyone, again, my name is Hema Hernandez, and I'm running with DP, the Democratic Process Party. I am aware that rollover meals are, or like you can donate a meal from the dining commons to the houseless community in Isla Vista, but many people don't know about this. Also, when you do donate um, this kind of, your, your meals, it has to be the first three days of the week, which oftentimes no one really is able to do that because they don't know how, um, how many meals they have left over. So one of my things for that is to um, allow the donations to be made at the end of the week. Um, also, surveys have been proven to be very effective in trying to find out like the opinions and the necessities of many people. So for the non houseless communities, such as the families of, in Isla Vista, I would go around and ask um, for their advice, uh, for their um, for the things that they feel that needs to be done in Isla Vista. Once again, my name is Ham Hernandez and I'm running with DP. Thank you. Hi, I'm Casey Ferenzi. I think one of the biggest problems with IV right now is that the people who are living there don't really have much of a say in what goes on. I know there's been a lot of issues with establishing cityhood in IV, but it is one of the largest unincorporated areas in the greater Santa Barbara community. And one of the things the Open People's Party wants to do is establish IV as a community service district. This would let us effectively allocate fundings and have residents of the community be on a certain board that would have more of a say as far as what goes on in Isla Vista. Thank you. I'm Casey Ferenzi with OPP. Uh, hi. Could you repeat the question, please? Of course I can. Uh, as an off-campus senator, how do you plan to represent the whole of the off-campus community, including non-students, families, and the houseless community? Uh, hi again, my name is Rafine Khan. I'm running to be an off-campus senator, senator with the Democratic Process Party. And um, with regards to that question, I feel that we as students often get caught up in our own bubble and forget the huge variety of people that live in Isla Vista. And we need to be conscious that as students, that we're kind of pushing out families and non-student residents in IV because of the increasing rent prices. And it's I don't think it's a question of me representing um, the people. I think we are obligated to do that because we are so um, prevalent in the Ivy community. What I plan to do is um, take into consideration the fact that the Ivy community is very unique. There's no like real government, and we need to recognize that like we as students take up a lot of space in Ivy. And so, the step I would take would, would to be to make sure that. Um, families and houses people in IV are actually being heard and that there's like no hierarchy. Uh, hi, again, I am Isaiah Garcia and I'm running for off-campus senator through OPP. Uh, and I would like to preface this by saying that uh, I chose to run for off-campus senator not because I wanted to be a leader but because I want to serve the community as a whole. And uh, that's what I want to do if I am elected. Uh, and in that way, I would like to be accountable for all of my actions, and also I'd like to be accountable in being able to hear what y'all have to say as well. Um, and one of the ways that I want to do that, and am doing that right now, is I'm working on a needs assessment survey with Paula de la Cruz right here, and we are going to try to figure out what exactly the community of Isla Vista really wants. This is not only for students, but it's also for community members as well. So not only am I thinking about this at the moment, or not only is this for the future, we're actually tangibly doing this at this moment. 
Again, I am Isaiah Garcia. I'm running for off-campus senator through OBP, and thank you. Hi, everyone. Again, my name is Allison Benkert, and I'm running with DP Party. I think when we talk about Isla Vista, we like to talk about how it affects us UCSB students, and I feel like that is highly inaccurate because we have a lot of families living in IV, we have a lot of houses people living in IV, and it's really important that we talk about the issues that affect them. That being said, I think that we all face similar issues such as feeling unsafe within the streets of um, IV, and this is stuff that affects us all, such as poor lighting, um, such as sexual assault. Like we don't just like as students, we don't just feel unsafe like on Halloween or on Daltopia, but like every day. And that doesn't just affect us, but it affects the residents that live there for a long time, not just the four years that we do. So I feel like we need to really focus on these um, issues and focus on them with the broader uh, idea of who we are truly representing, which isn't just us, but also these other families and houses. Again, my name is Allison Deppenkirk, and I'm running with DP Party. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Paola de la Cruz and I'm running as an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. So as a freshman, I have an internship downtown in restorative court and I work with the homeless sector in Santa Barbara. Through this internship, I've been able to experience um, many, of the, ex many of the experiences that um, homeless people confront. And because of that, I am pushing towards um, working with Father John, who is in charge of the Pescadero Lofts, um, which will serve as a home for many of the people who are houseless in our Isla Vista um, community. And in addition to that, um, if elected as senator, I plan to work with um, CAB and help volunteer, help continue the volunteering programs that are here in Isla Vista um, that provide food um, and many of the resources that um, the homeless um, community needs in Isla Vista. Once again, my name is Paula de la Cruz and I'm running as an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. Hi everyone again, my name is Anamita Carr, running with the Democratic Process Party. Um, to reiterate a lot of the sentiment that's been shared, um, I think we as students at this university constantly get caught up in a bubble believing that it is only us that lives in IV, and that needs to change quickly. We have families in IV, we have a houseless community in IV, and it is their home as much as it is, as it is ours. And one tangible way that we can change that attitude is by truly beginning work on a community center. I constantly hear talk of a community center, but I haven't seen any true tangible work being done towards it. And by beginning a community center, we can allow fam children of families to have a place to go after school. We can allow the houses to have a place to print the resume. We can have a place for college students to get help with their landlords. Um, and I really believe that this would make a tangible difference. Again, my name is Anamita Carr, running with the Democratic Process Party. Hi, once again, I'm Jenna Anderson, and I'm running to be an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. So at UCSB, there are so many ways to get involved with the community, and a lot of students just don't know about them. We have the Community Affairs Board, where students can get involved and serve the community. We have Sprout Up, where students can teach Ivy Elementary students about the environment. And we have all these different clubs that get involved and help the homeless. And I think that it's really important that as an Associated Student Senator, we would promote these clubs and fund them in a way that more students can get involved and more students can find out how to be involved in their community. Because as a school, we already are very involved and I think we just need to promote that. Thank you and I'm Jenna Anderson running to be an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. Hi, I'm Kevin Kuhn, and I'm running with OPP to be your off-campus sender. Um, the first thing that I would do is personally take it upon myself to make sure that Isla Vista is a home for all the members in this community. In order to do this, I think that we should utilize the IB Tenants Union to increase transparency and reach out to all community members of Isla Vista. Along with this, it's very important that not just the students of Isla Vista, but the homeless community, um, student, and families who do not attend UCSB are all accounted for by creating an online forum for certain, for family members where they can voice their concerns and opinions and I, I think will do wonders for having a good communication, good dialect for the Isla Vista community. 
Thank you. Once again, I'm Kevin Kuhn, and I'm running with OPP. Can y'all hear me all right? Good. Hello, everyone. I, again, my name is Hiro Bauer, and I am running for off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. And I wanted to address the fact that we have this beautiful park in the middle of Isla Vista, in the center of Isla Vista, that everyone can see. And as my fellow candidates mentioned, there are a lot of the clubs and organizations on campus that are already working to build the community, but we don't physically see it. So I would like to work to host forums and also many events that would be family, houseless, student friendly for everyone to come together and physically show that we are working together, that we're working towards building our community and we can there promote many of the organizations and events that Jenna was talking about and that's mainly what I would like to focus on to really enhance the entire community in Isla Vista. Again, my name is Hiro Bauer and I am running for off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. Thank you. All right, thank you candidates. Next question will begin with Haywood uh, and it is, are you ready? Uh, I'll give you a minute, keep you on your toes. Um, if someone were to ask you what is Associated Students, how would you explain it to them? Again guys, my name is Haywood Hunter, I'm down with OPP. Well, Associated Students to me, until very recently, was something I had never actually thought about. I had heard about OAS, I saw a few boards, but their effect on me didn't really come to my knowledge until very recently. Now I understand that Associated Students is representing the student interests and the wants for, the, for a better future of UCSB. Things that like AS has been responsible for in the past have been like putting in bike lanes, adding, um, adding the skateboard lanes, also the bike repair stations where you can like, inflate your tires. These things that I hadn't thought about before, I use every day. And so I realized AS can be a huge part of improving everyday student life. Um, I ran for senator so I could do my part to help serve the community and help improve other things, just like I've benefited from the work of AS in the past. Thank you, I'm Haywood Hunter, I'm with OPP. Hi everyone, again, my name is Hema Hernandez and I am running with the DP party. To me, AS is more than just a group of people that, that, I mean, that are in a little room. Uh, to me, AS represents not just my community off campus, but people on campus and, uh, and everywhere around UC UCSB. I think that to me, I think that AS has had a great impact not only on me, but on the student body, because as, as uh, my colleague said, that it's created a lot of things and resources that all, all of us use every day. For example, the AS created the emergency student loans that a lot of people use to get through the cost of college. Um, I think that to me, AS is, has the ability and the power to create change on this campus and it, overall the use of the system. AS is, to me, the power structure and the voice of the people, and the voice of the people was the one thing that's most important in creating change. Again, my name is Sam Hernandez and I'm running with DP. Hi, I'm Casey Ferenzi, running with OPP. To me, AS is a consistently expanding, especially recently, representation of the student body, which is working to make UCSB consistently looking forward to the future, making not only tangible goals for today, tomorrow, a year from now, but also 25 years from now, which is something that we're working on by <clears throat> um, re-looking at the um, master plan, something which hasn't been revisited in a while, but I think we can revisit it, make more tangible goals, and work forward to a better community, as I said, not only now, but in the future, for years to come, because we know UCSB will be here for years to come. Thank you. I'm Casey Franzi with OPP. Hi again. My name's Rafine Khan, running for off-campus senator with the Democratic Process Party. Um, what is what is AS to me? Well, I'll just talk about what I think AS should be. Um, I think associated students should be should give voice to the students. Um, I feel that associated students at the moment is very like disconnected and kind of sees itself as a hierarchy that like 
assumes the position of leading the students without actually taking the time to communicate with the majority of students. Um, if elected to AS, I do all I can, all that I can to transform associated students to actually give voice to students on this campus and not, and instead of being an authority to control and regulate students, I'd hope associate students would become a force to empower students and get them involved in all processes. Um, I'm not here as if elected to associated students, I wouldn't be here to lead you, but to serve you and listen to everything you have to say. And as a public academic institution, I think we should take that time. Again, I'm Rafine Khan, running for off-campus senator. <laughs> Uh, hi, I am Isaiah Garcia, and I am also running for off-campus senator through OVP. Um, and I would start off by saying that AS is, and Associated Students is all of us. Uh, we all represent our university in one way and another, and I would encourage the individual, why not just join AS and find, for, or find out what it is for yourself, because you can. And that's part of the like, magical thing about it, is that there's, there are so many facets of it and so many places to get involved. Like, just through sheer like incorporation, that you can do basically anything. Um, and I would say that we're basically just student service oriented. Whatever the, whatever it is the student body wants, we are the ones that should be the uh, the body to push forth and actually bring about that change that they actually desire. Um, but yeah, uh, I am Isaiah Garcia, and I'm running for off-campus senator through the Open People's Party. Thank you. Allison Bettencourt and I'm with DP Party. If you ask me who AS was, I would have to say we all are AS. We all pay into this, we all benefit from it, we all participate within AS. Just being students, we are AS. I feel like this like position that we're running for is just a representation of the student body. We aren't like we aren't exclusively AS sitting up here, right? Like the people in those positions aren't exclusively AS. Every student is AF, and I want to bring this position back to the students. I want this to be just a, just to represent the students, not um, to represent one facet of AF. So again, my name is Allison Bettencourt, and I'm with DQ Party. Hello everyone, my name is Paola de la Cruz, and I'm running as an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. So to me, AS uh, is a diverse group um, of students um, that falls under the division of student affairs. Um, and within AS, there's different organizations and, and um, BCCs, um, and yeah. And because of that, um, because we all pay $181 with 45 cents, I think that AS should be more transparent, should be more accessible to everyone. And because of this, I, as senator, want to create a UCSB mobile app that allows students to know about the different organizations and the resources that these organizations provide to students. We all pay for these organizations. We all contribute to this in one way or another, and we should all benefit from them in different ways. And one again, once again, my name is Paula de la Cruz, and I'm running as an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. Hello again, Anamita, DP Party. So when I first heard the question, immediately I thought, Associated Students is you. It's supposed to be a platform for all student needs, all student concerns, but I'm also a little reserved in saying this. Currently, I don't think Associated Students represents everyone. I think many student voices are silenced. I think particularly marginalized communities are silenced. And this is exactly what I plan to change. If elected, I will work toward the day when I can truly say that AS represents you, all of you. Thank you again, Anamita Carr, DP Party. Jenna Anderson, running with the Open People's Party to be an off-campus senator. And I think AS is comprised of students. And it's students who make changes that are going to help future students and fellow students. Because students know what other students want. <clears throat> Associated Students allows more funds to be given to student groups has addressed drunk driving by providing funds for Mills Bus, has pushed for restorative justice at UCSB, has created the Student Bill of Rights, bike fix-it stations, etc. AS has done so much for students, and I want to add to this list and make AS a more transparent and informing place for every single student at UCSB. 
Thank you, I'm Jenna Anderson, running with the Open People's Party to be an off-campus senator. Hi, I'm Kevin Koo, running with the Open People's Party to be your off-campus senator. Um, I personally believe that AS is the best representation of UCSB. AS was made to serve the entire Ivy community, whether it was, whether it was creating Wi-Fi and Ivy Theater for UCSB students, or the Mac, or having skateboard lanes for us to commute to class. AS has advocated for students' needs for the last years. It is an inclusive group that was made to improve every single one of our experiences here at UCSB. And I believe that by strengthening AS, we can keep improving our lives in college and the lives of the community around us. Thank you once again. I'm Kevin Koo, and I'm running with OPP to be your off-campus center. Hello again, everyone. I am still Hero Bauer, running with OPP for the off-campus senator position. And some of my fellow candidates here have already mentioned it, but I believe that the associated students is every student, or are every student who attended this university, who are the students who are currently attending the university. Think about the name, literally associated students. Any student who has ever been associated with UCSB is a part of AS. And because of that, we all care about our university, right? We saw that in our united response to Deltopia. We see that every day in the wonderful turnout we have for Spring Insight. The students who attend UC Santa Barbara, the students who have attended UC Santa Barbara, care about this school. And I want to serve as a liaison to all of those students and work for them as off-campus senators. So thank you all so much again. My name is Hiro Bauer. I am running with the Open People's Party for off-campus senator, and I hope you'll have a great day. Can you question again, sorry? Of course I can. Um, if someone were to ask you what is associated with students, what would you, how would you explain it to them? Hi, my name is Diana. I'm running for a DP party. Um, last year, if you asked me what AS was, I would just think there's a bunch of people in a room making plans for all of us. But this year, I learned that associated students is all of us. And it wasn't until this year that I learned that there are open forums that I can go to and talk to AS and tell them that I, my grievances and what I don't agree with, what I want to see changed, I didn't learn about that till this year, and that's because people like me, people of color, are not represented that well in AS. They're, we don't represent people of color, we don't represent queer and trans community that much. We should. Um, as well as that, Ala Vista is, is an unincorporated area. We don't have a town council, we don't have a city council. AS is probably our largest student power, power, power authority in Ala Vista. As students, we should try to use that power to help not only us, but the other greater community as well. Once again, my name is Diana, one of our DP party. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. We're going to switch it up. We're going to start with Kevin. Yes, Kevin, you're on. So the next question is as follows. Kevin, we're starting with you. Yeah. Um, how would you use your position to support and advocate on behalf of survivors of violence and sexual assault while also addressing issues of safety, overall safety in Island Vista? Uh, we'll give you a minute. Hi, I'm Kevin Koo, and I'm running with OPP to be an off-campus sender. Um, in terms of the recent events and the events that have always occurred in you, throughout the Isle of Vista community, I think that safety is a very key issue. Setting up cameras on DP, I believe, was not the solution in terms of whether it's riots or sexual assaults. I believe that we have to have a community that is willing to help one another and a community that will that will create some sort of technology. I know that there's a mobile app in order to have students who are in trouble in times needs to call for help and also utilizing CSOs. I believe that by doing this, we can help all students who feel like they are being threatened or who are on the verge of trouble at night in Isla Vista. Thank you, I'm Kevin Kuhn, I'm running with OPP. Hi, I'm Jenna Anderson, and I'm running with the Open People's Party to be an off-campus senator. Um, given recent events, I think that more light has been shed on sexual assault and safety in Isla Vista, and I think it's very important that we promote this and continue moving forward from this so that nothing like this can happen again. And 
One way I think that we can promote safety in Isla Vista is create a law enforcement advisory board. This could be a shared governance between students and the foot patrol and important people in Isla Vista in a way that students could share their ideas on how to make Isla Vista a better place and more safe as, long as, as well as police officers and foot patrol who would have a shared governance and everyone could um, have a more reserved way to explain their feelings. And we need to promote groups on campus that prevent sexual assault. And my name is Jenna Anderson and I'm running with the Open People's Party. Thank you. May I hear the question again? Of course. How will you use your position to support and advocate on behalf of survivors of violence and sexual assault while also addressing issues of overall safety in Isla Vista? Great. Thank you. Again, my name is Anamita, DP Party. I think a large problem with the conversations that happen around safety and sexual assault in IV is the fact that it always happens after a large occurrence, like Deltopia, like Halloween. Sexual assault is always happening, and that's an issue. One in four college age women is expected to be sexually harassed or sexually assaulted. And we need to be addressing this regularly. And I think part of that is institutionalizing Take Back the Nights of Safe Zone, which they um, implemented during Halloween. Um, I'm not sure if you all were aware of that, but they had that during Halloween night for anybody to come back and have a safe, warm space to stay. I think that needs to be happening every weekend night so everyone always has a place to go if they feel harassed, if they feel unsafe. Again, my name is Anamita with DP Party. Hello everyone, my name is Paula Guadalajara Cruz and I'm running as an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. As previously, as previously mentioned, I don't think sexual assault and harassment incidents are something um, that have just happened. This, this is not something new, this has been happening. Uh, fall quarter of my freshman year, um, I was actually um, a victim of sexual harassment and I didn't know what to do about it. Um, and now that I'm involved in associated students, I've learned that there are hotlines available for students to call. And as uh, if elected senator, I want to make these resources available to students. I want to make sure that students know that there is help for them out there um, and not have to experience what I did. Um, so my name is Paula de la Cruz. Um, I'm running as an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. My name is Allison. I'm running with DP. And like Anamita, I was, uh, really, I really feel like sexual sexual assault is a, a, an occurrence that needs to be um, looked at every single weekend, not just something that happens, um, you know, here or there. You know, um, I feel like safe, having a safe space is a really good idea, um, something that really needs to be institutionalized. And I also feel like we just need a lot more um, opportunities to educate people and educate people about sensitivity training for police officers that deal with these cases and I feel like we need um, we need to educate the survivors about the resources that we have like counseling services um, and other resources like take back the night and I feel like all of this will help change the climate um, that we do the very dangerous climate that we do have in Ella Vista right now. Again my name is Allison and I'm with TV. <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm Isaiah and I'm running with OPP and uh, I would like to say that I have already uh, lobbied for this issue uh, to our representative, uh, Hannah Beth Jackson. I pushed uh, Senate Bill 967 uh, to her, which calls for, uh, well she co-wrote it, but it calls for um, reform with the university's ad ability to address uh, sexual assault in, in, in the university community and I think that's very important because from there uh, we can hold the university accountable and let them know that if our students are harmed they must be addressed and they must be helped and, and I think that's something that's very important in the community and if elected I would want to keep pushing for that reform I want the university to be accountable for you know the responsibility of the students and I think that would be something that I would love to help uh, transform a bit on campus again I'm Isaiah Garcia and I'm running for off-campus senator with the Open People's Party thank you uh, hi everyone, my name is Rafi Nikon, running with DP Party. Um, so, with regards to safety and IV, there's obviously a problem. This has been happening for years upon years, and I'm tired of people actually caring about this stuff only when extreme situations happen. Um, conversations are 
crucial, but I think tangible action needs to be taken more. That being said, the action must be taken thoughtfully and not feed into the disconnect within the community. Groups like Take Back the Night need to be recognized and uplifted and taken seriously. If action is to be taken, these communities need to be listened to. It's not going to be AS by itself taking these actions. It's not going to be any form of government taking action by itself. It has to be from the by listening to the community and hearing out what we need. And there is a clear problem. S students exposed to sexual assault can't, don't really have like tangible resources in the moment because police officers have a history of being very forceful with students and there's a lack of sensitivity. Again, my name is Rafi Khan and I'm running with DP Party. Hi, I'm Casey Ferenzi running with OPP. Sexual assault is something that's very important to me and I've actually looked into what other schools have done um, regarding this issue. Something that I think would be very effective in taking preventative measures is publicizing punishments of previous offenders. This way, when somebody goes to commit an offense, they can think, oh, this is what happened to somebody. Do I want that to be my fate too? Another thing is, I know some people, ha um, some campuses have buttons they can push um, if something ever happens to them, if they feel like they need help. However, in certain instances of sexual assault, the victim may not feel comfortable pushing the button. And um, one thing we can do is put the number, um, any hotline that could be helpful, on telephone poles so that anybody who is a victim can have that number for reference wherever they are. Thank you. I'm Casey Ferenzi with OPD. Hi again. My name is Hema with a G, and I'm running with DP. As a survivor of sexual violence for years, I constantly think about the things that I can do to help my fellow community in that sense. I always think about how and what made me want to speak out and definitely wasn't just going to a meeting or like someone talking about resources. It wasn't, it wasn't anything indirect. It was uh, hearing people's stories, their survival, um, thing, this was the things that they did every day on, on a regular basis. And my idea is to have spoken word artists and people in Isla Vista to uh, just pop up and just speak about their experiences and not, will not only attract the regular community, but people who have experienced this kind of things, these kinds of things. And in that, people will feel inspired to speak out about their uh, occurrences. Again, my name is Hema with a G, and I'm running with DP. Hey guys, I'm Haywood Hunter. I'm running for off-campus senator with OPP. Um, in light of the recent sexual assaults that we've all been publicizing and all know about, I think it's a good first step that we were talking about it and that this is a community issue. That the fact that this was a question that we were all asked right now is a good step in the right direction. Um, we need to keep keep funding programs like Take Back the Night. Also, the CSOs are a great resource, so we need to keep them. Um, as far as IV safety as a whole, the lights, we're putting up more lights, which is a great, which is a great thing, but the cameras that have just recently gone up, I believe are a police overreach. Um, I think we do need more CSOs. Um, take Back the Night should be increased. More lights is good, but sometimes when safety, we have to understand that we are giving away some of our rights. So, again, I'm Hewitt Hunter, and I'm with OPP. not protection. We always focus on the aftermath. We should teach not to rape, not how we should teach not to rape, not how to be raped. I also lobby for SB 967, which was written by uh, Hannah Jackson and Doss Williams. Uh, one thing that we agreed on, me and Doss Williams, was that it doesn't matter if we have a bill written, if we don't have as a student body, we don't enforce that rule. That being said, I want to push for more sexual violence rape prevention workshops. We should teach men, we should teach women not to sexual assault because men are not the only sexual assault perpetrators, it's also women as well. Um, it's not right that we have a rape culture, we should have something to prevent that to be not a thing anymore. And then once again, my name is Diana, I'm running for a DP party. Thank you. Hello everyone, again, my name is Hiro Bauer, I am running for off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. and. 
this uh, topic hits very close to home for me for, for many personal reasons. And uh, I too was at SLC with Diana advocating for SB 967. And I think that it does take a lot of great measures, but personally, until that passes on campus, like Diana said, like a, a few of the other candidates mentioned, Prevention is key. I firmly believe that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of intervention. And although we have to take a lot of preventative measures that were mentioned before, like take back the night and educating people how not to rape, uh, I believe that I would like to use the part, I know I want to use the Pardal Center to create a lot of support groups for other survivors of sexual assault, to host forums, to educate other individuals, and to also promote Take Back the Night. Thank you all so much. Again, my name is Hero Bauer, and I'm running for off-campus senator with the BB. Thank you, everyone. We got started a few minutes late, so I'm just going to extend the time just a few minutes. If I know somebody may have a class. If you have to go, by all means, don't, don't feel like you. Okay, but uh, we got one more question. This will be our last question, then we'll have time for just a very, very brief closing argument. So, but to, in the interest of time, um, I'm going to give you 30 seconds for this one. You get just have to run with it the best you can. And the question is this: Deltopia, Jenna, starting with you. Yes, Deltopia. What happened? Who's responsible? What now? Hello, I'm Jenna Anderson, and I'm running for off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. Deltopia did not turn out the way that it should have. And what happened is that we not only had out-of-towners in town, but we were responsible for what happened. We as students need to come together and prevent these from happening again, and we need to promote a safer environment in Isla Vista. Not only is this our school, and we have to deal with what happens after, so we need to band together and create ways to make this a safer place. Jenna Anderson with the Open People's Party. Thank you. Underneath my car, DP Party, we are all responsible for what happened on Deltopia. I'm not going to pretend like I know exactly what started it, exactly how we can solve it, but I do know that there is an incredible lack of communication between UCSD and IV Foot Patrol. Um, and there's also a culture within us. You know, we are the ones that invite out-of-towners. I think it's, um, we shouldn't just be putting it on out-of-towners because they wouldn't have a place to stay if it weren't for us. So I think we all need to take responsibility and we all need to uh, encourage a culture to respect our community. And meet the car DP party. Could you repeat the question, please? Sure, Deltopia. What happened? Who was responsible? What now? Okay, hello everyone. My name is Paula de la Cruz. I'm running as an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. I was actually there on DP um, when the terror gas bombs um, were there um, and when the riots happened. Um, and I, there, I don't think there's a specific person to blame about this. I think, as others have mentioned, we are all responsible for this. And as students and as a community, and even our friends who were here, we all need to take responsibility in this. I was there after on Saturday helping volunteer, um, and I was very sad to see the sexual harassment, the harassment that was happening with the volunteers. So as student and as a senator, I will help um, make sure that this does not happen. Hi, I'm Isaiah and I'm running for off-campus center with OBP. And uh, I will say that I don't think we all really know what happened and that's why we're asking for that grand jury so we ultimately can find out what it is that happened and how to alleviate the problem in itself. But I, I think that honestly, to start it off, uh, this is a problem with our culture and the only way that we can really fix this is if we change and modify our culture to better take, a, uh, to take accountability for our own actions and that can only happen with years of work and, and, sad, and I think that um, that's something that we can start right now in this term. Again, I'm Isaiah Garcia and I'm running for off-campus senator with OPP. Thank you. Hi, Rafine Khan, DP Party. I think the events of Deltopia reflect that we are at fault. When visitors come to a location, they reflect the culture of the people staying there. That's why when you, for example, like if people go to UCLA, they're not going to carry on the same type of attitude that people had here where they feel entitlement to completely trash the place. So I think the events of Deltopia reflect that there is a very serious problem in the culture of IV and students need to reflect upon DP and realize that there are very serious issues with regards to rape culture, racism, heterosexism, and all of that. Uh, Rafine Khan, DP Party. Hi, Casey Ferenczi with OPP. As much as we want to blame it on non-UCs, um, students, 
Pointing fingers will never get us anywhere and will never change what the future holds for us. One of the things we've already mentioned today is that creating a police advisory board would be very helpful in working with police. This would um, ensure that we can make sure the police that are coming to IV have the proper training to deal with the unique and original community that Isla Vista is. Thank you, Casey Ferenzi with OPP. Hi, I'm with DP Party. I believe that everyone is at fault and that everyone should be responsible to clean this mess up that we have created for ourselves. Um, the biggest thing that I think that went wrong was the lack of the miscommunication between the IVP Patrol and the students. The fact that it was mentioned on, face, on a Facebook event um, of the music ordinance and all of the rules, most people, were, uh, most people doubted the um, reality or if it was real at all. So I think that uh, we need to improve the, the communication between students and IVP Patrol. Again, my name is Hamma and I'm running with DP. Hey guys, Haywood Hunter, OPP. So, there's no one party that we can all point a finger to as the cause of the Deltopia riots. But that being said, it's now in the past. All we can do is learn from it. Um, I'm proud to say that the night of the riot, there were many AS members there trying to quell, like trying to calm people down, tell them this isn't what should be happening right now. And I'm proud that AS did that. Um, I'm sure they're going to keep that attitude in the future. I'd like to see another Deltopia, that's a different Deltopia, more tamed, more community organized, but that's, we can only learn from our past. Again, I'm Haywood Hunter, and I'm OPP. Hi, I'm Diana, i Deltopia, we get like two Hold on there. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Okay. Once again, my name is Diana. Uh, Deltopia, we shouldn't be looking to blame someone. We forget that we're here for an education of most. We, what we do for fun is our personal life, but we should learn to regulate that. We forget about the aftermath. There are other people in this community, not just us. We forget that afterwards, there were a bunch of beer bottles, beer cans in the streets. As the students, we put them our own brooms and brush, brooms and sweepers, we clean the streets ourselves. We forget that we don't have public sweepers, we don't have public trash disposals. Once again, my name is Diana with the TP party. Thank you. Again, I'm Hiro Bauer running for off campus senator with the Open People's Party. Deltopia, what happened? Poor preventative measures that nobody really saw coming, and the only thing we can do, as Faith mentioned, is move forward. What do I want to do personally? How many of you are familiar with the Keep It Local hashtag? All right, we know it. I want to launch a social media campaign that talks about that we have real responsibilities because we are the real gauchos who can take responsibility for our part of the actions. It's not just our own fault, but moving away from the Keep It Local campaign because we can't stop local people and move into real responsibility, real gauchos. Again, my name is Hero Bauer and I'm running with the Open People's Party for off-campus senator. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kevin Kuhn. I'm running with the Open People's Party for off-campus senator. Um, I feel that almost everybody in the Isle of this community had a friend or a friend of a friend who did know somebody from out of town and in that sense it is, was our responsibility regarding the issues of Deltopia. Along with this, publicizing the event was our doing. I'm pretty sure that almost everybody in the social media account saw the event on Facebook. This, um, although we did do the Keep It Local campaign, we should have pushed for this harder. On the other hand, I am very proud of UCSB students who did clean up the streets in the morning and who were there. Thank you once again. I'm Kevin Kuhn, running with OPP. All right, thank you very much. Um, we're going to wrap this up now. Um, I want to start with Paula. And um, we'll just give you, give you like 10 seconds. Say your name, you know, real quick, you know, two sentence, one word, short, brief. Brevity is, is essential. Uh, and we'll be wrapping this up right now. Paola, and then we'll go on to... Uh... Hello everyone, my name is Paola de la Cruz. I'm running as an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. Um, just remember to vote for me and vote OPP. Thank you. Uh, I am Isaiah Garcia and I'm also running with OPP for the off-campus senator position. And just remember that if elected, I will ultimately be here to serve you, so reach out to me at any time. Thank you, Isaiah Garcia. Hi, I'm Rafi Khan, running to be your off-campus senator with DP Party. 
I do my best to keep my individual voice, even if it isolates me at times. So if you want a unique voice in the Senate, don't forget to vote for me. Again, Rafiq Khan, DP Party. <laughs> Thank you for granting the Open People's Party. Remember to vote on gold. Thank you. Hey, what's up? My name is Hema with a G, and I'm running with DP. Remember to vote for me and DP and Navi over there. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, again, I'm hey, hey guys again, I'm Haywood Hunter. I'm running for off-campus senator with OPP. Remember to vote on gold. Thank you. Off-campus Center and DP party. Oh, we are the party that are elected by the people. We are for the people. Don't forget about us. DP party. Ain't no part of the DP party. <laughs> hey! Woo! Hello, everyone. Again, my name is Hero. Like, Hero, but with an I. And Bauer, like power, but with a B. Strike up a conversation with me. Find me on Facebook. I want to serve you, and I want to talk to you. Vote for OPP. Vote for Hero Bauer for Off-campus Center. Thank you. I'm Kevin Koo and I'm running with OPP to be your off-campus sender. 760-405-1309. Text me, call me, Facebook me. I don't care. I'm here to advocate for your needs. Seriously, let me know what you guys need and please vote on gold. Hello, I'm Jenna Anderson. I'm running to be an off-campus senator with the Open People's Party. We're here for you, so ask us questions or give us suggestions and we want to help. Next off campus senator. More importantly, vote for the Democratic Process Party. Vote Navi, vote Cash, vote Daniela. Thank you. All right, well, thank you to all, all candidates. I want to thank you for your um, insightful responses. You know, this is being recorded, so um, you can't be held accountable for what you've said here today. All right, so thank you all very much. And uh, we'll get started with our next forum in just a couple minutes. For all the senators uh, for the next round of off campus representatives, can you please join me right up here at the front of the stage? Can we give our uh, candidates a, a hand?